a big old round of applause for Mr. Lou Engelman. right now, like, Lou is talking into a microphone. Lou is trying to remember his next joke. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm, I also accidentally one time updated my status while I was sleeping and uh, typed out my dream. So my status for a week read, Lou is fighting King Tut on Mercury with 10 billion super soldiers. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so I'm on Facebook a lot, but when I'm not on Facebook, I'm uh, watching a lot of TV. Uh, but my least favorite show is John and Kate Plus Eight. It's, yeah, yeah. 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 it's up to the worst show ever. Yeah. Uh, if if uh, any of you don't know what that show is, it's uh, about a husband named John and a wife named Kate who are basically exploiting their eight kids for money. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, but John, actually, I heard, got, uh, is, is splitting up from Kate because he was cheating on her. So uh, that kind of completely destroys the name of the show. So now it's gonna be John minus Kate minus eight or something. <laughs> or Kate plus eight minus John. <laughs> but now they need to uh, decide who gets to keep the show. And if it's uh, if it's John, then he's just gonna it's just gonna be him sitting down, eating a pint of ice cream every night, just watching TV, talking about how quiet it is. <laughs> and and uh, I bet just to sleep, he'd have to turn on like every appliance in the house just to simulate the noise. So uh, yeah. Uh, a few of my friends go to this store at my mall called Games Workshop. It's uh, basically it sells Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it it's uh, tabletop war games, and uh, it's basically just a bunch of kids playing with dolls, little teeny dolls. Uh, so they tried to get me. They brought me in there one day and tried to get me started on playing their fantasy game, and. Uh, so, uh, the second I walked into the store, I saw these 20 or 30 year old guys in there playing this kid's game. And two of them were painting this giant, jagged piece of metal. And I asked them what that is, and apparently it's the Space Marine Bane Blade tank. <laughs> <laughs> Then uh, these other guys were having debate about whether or not the death penalty should be legal. Now, first of all, where do they get the experience killing people? Like this one guy was saying how they should reinstate public hangings to scare people away from doing crimes. And uh, so I was just thinking, like, do they get all their knowledge about killing people from their little prisoners of war in the little game? Like, you died the assault on Black Reach. <laughs> They're like little dolls. So uh, then the workers there, they'll use anything as an excuse to get you to buy something from the store. Like, my friend and I once, we found one of their dice on the side of the railroad track. So we picked it up and uh, being the nice guys that we are, we brought it to the store and returned it to them. And they asked us if we wanted to get started and get playing the game. So we kind of just drifted out. Uh, so they got me to play a demo game, and apparently somehow I slayed the black orc, <laughs> and his blood shall forever wait on the temple floor. Because these workers are really enthusiastic about this. And uh, 
So then, uh, after he told me that the black orc's blood shall forever wait on the temple floor, I kind of burst out laughing a little bit. And uh, apparently, the black orc is a force to be reckoned with, and if I want to laugh at him, I shall die at the hand of his sword. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going back there for a while. Uh, I'm Lou, and I've been Facebook sober for five minutes.